For the parallel beam geometry, we use the optical magnification. So you have a parallel beam. Now you don't have a lot of divergence. Then you put the sample right up against a scintillator, which converts X-rays into visible light so that you can use optical lens to do the magnification. And this geometry actually works very well for high resolution imaging. But at the same time, it requires high power X-ray source. And that's because we are using only parallel portion of the X-rays and also you have to use pretty thin scintillator to achieve a high resolution. But why is the parallel beam better for high resolution? So let's compare the two. When you do X-ray CT scan, in general, you're using very small X-ray source. And that source can drift or vibrate when you're doing a scan. And when that happens, with the cone beam geometry, because you're using X-ray divergence for magnification, your source drift gets magnified as well. And you end up having a little bit blur image. And this is the reason why the cone beam geometry's resolution, this is generally speaking, on, is limited to about five microns. If you use a parallel beam geometry, even if the source drifts a little bit, because you're not using X-ray divergence for magnification, your image doesn't get blurred. So you can say the parallel beam geometry is immune to drift. And that's why this geometry works better for high resolution. And with the parallel beam geometry, you can probably achieve about one micron and sometimes even a couple hundred nanometers resolution. 